So farming cakes in Power World is by far one of the most displeasing, hideous things about the whole breeding system in the game. I do hope that in the future they at least do something about the cooking time uh, for them, as although well, things do get easier the higher up the ranks you get, and those are level 4 work suitability powers become more apparent, it's still a chore I don't think any of us do enjoy. In today's video guys, I bring you what in my opinion is by far the best way to indeed get the ingredients to make cakes as well as uh, talk about the options you have in cooking them. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and before we go any further I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be in with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Winners are picked from the comments section and announced at the end of the week, so good luck. So getting cakes for the use of breeding is something we all do within Power World. But what are the fastest ways of getting cakes? Is it through the ranch and using pals to get those ingredients? Are there other means? Well, yes, actually there are. And that's why I bring you guys today. All ways to get cakes, which include ways faster than waiting on pals at the ranch to cough up what you need. Or to be honest, these methods could be used in tandem with uh, the ranch to get those ingredients at a faster rate. So firstly, cakes require flour, which you get from the mill upon you having wheat, red berries, which can be grown or picked, milk, which you need a mozzarella for, and the ranch, eggs, which require a chickpea and the ranch, and honey, which requires bigardi, and again, that ranch. Now, four of these materials you can actually get much, much easier and quicker, and that's through people buying them from a the small settlement vendor. Wheat, milk, berries, and eggs all cost 50 each. Now I truly recommend you grow your own wheat and berries and here you get way more than you will ever need in doing so. So milk and eggs will probably be what you need here. For me personally, it's more so eggs than it is milk. I think egg is the number one and mostly used and consumed ingredient to make a cake, obviously. So maybe it just maybe eggs you wanna buy or need. And while to be honest guys, 50 each, these are cheap when you consider how easy gold is to get in this game. And that's what I recommend you do. I recommend you use this simple tip and farm gold to purchase ingredients, while at the same time you have these powers in your ranch creating said ingredients for you. So the quickest way to make gold without a doubt in this game is to simply craft nails. One ingot gives you two nails, one nail sells for 160 gold. You do the mass people. How easy is it to get ingots? So how easy is it to make nails? And how easier is it to just sell these nails and buy said ingredients? There is no excuse as to why you shouldn't be filthy rich in this game. And well, if you ain't, now I'll teach you. So to start, there are loads of spots or spots in this game, plenty of them. You'll see in a few on screen now, these are some of the less popular ones I've seen floating around the internet. So if you're playing on an official server, try checking out a couple of these spots. Coordinates as you can see are on screen now. Now all you need for this entire setup is obviously the base basics, power box, power beds, power feeding box, storage, and you are good to go here. Then you need mining powers, Anubis, in my opinion, does this amazingly. You also need a transporting power. Again, Anubis is great at this. And in reality, that's all you really need unless you plan on smelting the metal into those ingots at this working base you're about to set up. Then it's a case of getting even something as basic as a primitive furnace to cook up those standard ingots for you. This works. Now, in regards to a power that's efficient in kindling, obviously the best in the game is the German tired Ignis, found right here on the map. These are the gold too for that kindling, but I do understand people watching this video will struggle getting one. But there are many other options too, like the Arsox, who is an easy catch, who's a level two in that kindling. Pyron is the same. You have level threes in Ragnarok, Blazehound, and Reptiro. These are great kindling options, and there are plenty of others out there for you. Now, obviously with the cakes, it's the cooking time which is a drawback. A simple method in more or less half in times, logically, is by doubling up on the furnace and doubling up on those kindling powers. This was a method I used as a starter player looking into breeding. The more cookers, the more kindling powers you have, the more cakes you'll get in return, doubling up over a single cooker. Simple. Now, I would recommend with a base cell for farming ore, that you put down a few springs and that food in that feeding box at a bare minimum is, is foods that will restore that sand like cooked berries, salads, etc. 
But once that base is set up, sit back, relax while they farm that ore for you. You then make it cook and then simply use those ingots from that furnace and craft those nails. If you plan on doing that at the same base too, you'll obviously need that station, that workstation, but the Anubis will make these as quick as any other power in the game as it's the handiwork which is the best for you here. Now while we're on the subject of Anubis, there's no excuse not for you to have some of these already in your setup. Simply breeding a Relaxorus and a Celeray, these give you Anubis. I mean, that's the easiest combo you can get, but get yourself this base working pal. It's by far the best in the game. But yeah, once you have those nails ready, head to the small settlement and sell those nails and then purchase the ingredients you need. Even better guys, which is something I recommend you doing, catch this vendor and place him at your base, which is what I've done. It saves you a ton of time in stressing about fast traveling back and forth from this small settlement. You can sell him and buy him from him in your base. It really is as simple as that and it saves you a ton of time. Now from this graft alone, from this work base alone, you'll be able to buy more eggs and milk than you'll ever need. Even if you purchase berries and wheat too, the same result will occur. From here though, you still need that honey. Here I do recommend you having a couple of these bee pals within your ranch. What I will say is, honey is the least needed ingredient, so obviously it will be the least used. So you will see your stocks just accumulating in the background while everything else drains out. Now I could say go out and slay bees for honey, cinnamoths too. Well, it's best if you can just catch a few or even breed a few. There are many combinations to breed in these early game. The easiest in my opinion is a Malpaca and a Tansy. These guarantee you'll be Garde and there's no excuse in you being able to catch these two low level pals real early on. Now if you have that ranch set up, therefore have a Chikopee and a Mazarina here dropping that milk and eggs for you. Because if you don't and you have that ranch set up already, you're really doing a disservice to yourself. From here guys, they'll simply craft those cakes. Now in regards to the ranch, obviously certain powers are needed to get what you want, but can you increase the rate in which they drop said ingredients? In the long run, under my testing, work speed passives seem to affect the animation of which power drops said ingredients. This will affect overall production time for sure. But other than this, nothing else I have tested resulted in faster eggs, milk or honey drop. Obviously discounting the fact that the condensation machine, once you start sacrificing said powers, this will affect the drop rates that you will see. So do keep this in mind. I actually have a video guide, an in-depth look on how you can actually increase ranch drop rates, which I'll link down below or you'll find on my channel. Now there is another way in which I tried and tested in getting those cakes as it was recommended to me on my Discord. And that was going out and slaying those lavanders. Here, I tried this, I slayed away, I caught away, I caught and then slayed away. I did it probably about 40 times in total. I didn't get a single cake. This was also with a party full of who are said to make neutrals drop more items. Neutral pals drop more items. Although I saw a few of the other things drop more consistently, cakes were not dropping for me whatsoever. I even adjusted my world settings and nothing was happening for me here guys. So under my testing, the vendors although can drop cakes are just not efficient enough. Keep in mind if you do try and do this for yourselves though, they only appear at night. But yeah guys, the fastest way to make cakes in game in my opinion is to actually just purchase ingredients while also making your own. There's no real other legit efficient option that I have come across. I've been using this method for a while now and I've not run out of cakes and probably never will. So yeah, I hope it helps you out too. But there we have it guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more power, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.